CompTIA A Plus Core 2, 220-1102, Practice Exam. Questions 16 through 20. This video is part of our practice exam video series and is filled with questions that closely resemble the real exam. So are you prepared to test your knowledge? Great, let's begin. Question 16. The IT department would like to implement a secure connection to protect sensitive data transmitted over the internet. Which of the following options should the technician choose to establish a tunnel that hides IP addresses and encrypts all network traffic? The answer is C. VPN. A VPN creates a secure tunnel between the user's device and the VPN server, encrypting all network traffic and hiding the user's IP address. This encryption ensures that data transmitted between the user and the VPN server is protected from interception and tampering by unauthorized parties. Additionally, by replacing the user's real IP address with the IP address of the VPN server, a VPN effectively hides the user's identity and location from websites and other online services. Question 17. In a remote work setting, an IT technician receives a call from an employee who is experiencing difficulties with a software application. To provide real-time assistance, which of the following tools would be most suitable for the technician and the employee to simultaneously view the employee screen? The answer is B. VNC. VNC enables remote assistance by linking two computers via a network connection. The user's computer functions as a VNC server, while the technician's computer operates as a VNC client. Once linked, the client displays the server's desktop in real time, enabling the technician to remotely view and interact with it. Moreover, VNC facilitates simultaneous display and control, allowing both the user and technician to interact with the desktop at the same time. Question 18. Following a recent Windows update, an application fails to launch and displays an error message stating, application needs to be repaired. Which of the following control panel utilities should a technician use to repair the application? The answer is C. Programs and Features. Programs and Features is a built-in Windows utility that offers a simple method to repair applications. Users access programs and features from the control panel, locate the application they want to repair, and select it. Then, by choosing the Change or Modify option and selecting Repair, the utility attempts to fix any corrupted or missing files related to the application. Question 19. A student is enrolling in a university's online learning platform. Which of the following documents will the student need to sign before gaining access to the university student portal? The answer is D. AUP. In this scenario, the university mandates that students sign an AUP, or acceptable use policy, before accessing its student portal. This ensures that students comprehend and agree to adhere to the rules and guidelines governing its use. The AUP offers clarity on acceptable behaviors and consequences for policy violations, fostering responsible and ethical utilization of the university's digital resources. Question 20. In a growing tech startup, the IT department aims to streamline collaboration between Linux-based servers and Windows desktops. Which solution would best facilitate the integration of Linux servers and desktops into the existing Windows Active Directory infrastructure? The answer is A. Samba. Samba is an open-source software suite that enhances compatibility between Linux-based and Windows-based systems. It simplifies the integration of Linux servers and desktops into Windows Active Directory environments. This is achieved by enabling Linux systems to authenticate users against Windows Active Directory, utilizing their Windows domain credentials. Additionally, Samba empowers Linux systems to join Windows domains thus centralizing the management of user accounts and group policies. So, did any of these questions give you a tough time? Don't worry if they did, it's all part of the learning process. Luckily, Certification Synergy has a wealth of free video content at your disposal. 
To stay connected with our latest IT learning resources, just give a quick click on the subscribe button. This simple action ensures you're always updated about our newest video releases. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.